Another concept we're going to be working with in Unit 4 is adding and subtracting money. Um, now this is very similar and a great way to practice adding and subtracting money um, because generally money is written in this form. We have our dollar sign, our whole number, our decimal point, and whatever cents we have. So to set up this problem, I would remember that we treat our decimal points like magnets. That is extremely important um, to make sure that we're lining them up. And also, you can see I am labeling with our dollar sign. So I know that I am, um, in this problem, subtracting money. So I have $8.55 minus $2.84. So the first thing I'm going to do is put our label of our dollar sign on there and put our decimal point, so don't forget about that. And then I'm just going to subtract like a normal subtraction problem. So 5 minus 4 is 1. I can't do 5 minus 8, so I'm going to borrow. This gets changed to 15. 15 minus 8 is 7, and 7 minus 2 is 5. So my answer is $5.71. And a good thing to think about when adding and subtracting with money um, is does this make sense? Does it make sense that I have, if I were to round, I would have about $9 minus $3 to get $6? That's pretty close to $5.71.